we're awarding the Lifetime Achievement Award to Linda Nichols. And speaking on behalf of the current staff and board, we all really have a special place in our hearts for Linda. Uh, in the mid 2000s, Linda was a leader in the fight to save the first generation of electric vehicles that had been leased to consumers and then were taken back at the end of their leases and destroyed. Uh, in one noteworthy episode, Linda and a camera crew from the documentary of Who Killed the Electric Car chased a transport full of Toyota RAV4 EVs that were being sent to the crusher. They were ultimately able to save many of those vehicles, including her own RAV4, which she named Electra. She was a founder of Plug in America, and she has since contributed much of her time and energy to the electric vehicle movement. And because of her outstanding impact, uh, going forward in future years, the Lifetime Achievement Award is going to be named in her honor. And so now we have a short video tribute to Linda. My name is Alexandra Paul, and I've known Linda since the EV1 vigil in Burbank. That was a 24-7, 27-day vigil to try and stop the EV1s from being crushed. And Linda took a lot of 1 a.m. shifts, and I would take her place at 5 a.m. because she's a night owl and I'm an early bird. <laughs> We still work really well together. We've been keeping a database on the RAV4 EVs uh, for the last 15 years, tracking them when they change hands, documenting how they've done over the last 20 years. Um, Linda has faithfully offered to table at pretty much every EV event in Southern California. She's lobbied Sacramento. She's held signs on street corners. She's spoken at so many electric car events and she's donated really generously to Plug in America since day one. Linda not only vigil to save the EV1, but she also negotiated to save the RAV4 EV and every single one of those legacy RAV4 EVs that you see on the road today is there because Linda negotiated with Toyota <laughs> to save those cars. Linda is a poet and a class act and she has the biggest heart in the world. Congratulations, Linda. Linda Nichols. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations on your Life Achievement Award for electric vehicles and fighting the good fight. You're there at the very beginning of this generation of electric cars, really even the prior generation, the EV1, the RAV4 EV, all you did, chasing those cars down, heck, uh, showing up in our films, showing up at the protests. You're truly a leader. So on behalf of electric vehicle owners everywhere, all the way across this country, uh, wishing you all the best and congratulations for all you've done. No one citizen has had a bigger impact on the movement for electric vehicles and on Plug in America than Linda Nichols. I met Linda when I was fighting for my little red Fink and she and her husband were fighting for their RAV4 EVs. Remember this, Linda? You were our poster girl. Thanks to your efforts chasing RAV4 EVs across the highways of California and supporting Plug in America, I've still got my RAV4 EV. It's still running 105,000 miles on the original batteries. What began as a small movement, a few people, maybe a dozen, on weekly phone calls, just trying to time try and stop the automakers from destroying the great electric cars they made. Today, millions of people are driving electric cars. Thank you, Linda Nichols. We wouldn't be here without you. It feels really good to be nominating Linda Nichols for this award. I cannot think of anyone more deserving of a Lifetime Achievement Award from Plug in America than Linda. She has dedicated her life to promoting electric vehicles, combating climate change, and standing up for human and animal rights. She's been fighting the good fight for decades and has inspired countless others to do the same. Thank you, Linda, for making a difference in so many lives. The world is a better place because you are in it. <laughs>